Hey you guys, Official Phone Rebel here, and in this video I'm actually going to be talking about some of the biggest reasons why you would want to root your Android phone. And as promised, I'm basically going to give you a better idea of why people root their phones, why you should do it, or why you may want to do it. Basically I'll give you about 10 or so reasons. Now with the iPhone, just a little background, people would jailbreak it because it's such a locked system. And with a jailbreak you can do so much, but it's confusing to people because on an Android phone you actually get it out of the box as a very free device. You're free to modify pretty much anything you would want. So a lot of people are confused. Why would you want to go ahead and root it? And rooting is basically jailbreaking. I mean, it gives you root access to the phone. And I'm going to go ahead and give you about 10 or so reasons. So let's begin. Now, I'd say reason number one is custom ROMs. The majority of the people that I know that do root their device do it because they're allowed to install all kinds of cool softwares on their device, including CyanogenMod, which I'm running right now. This is 10.1 on a Galaxy S3. It basically allows you to install a whole new interface, a whole new firmware for your device. And if I go into settings, I can just show you that this is running Jelly Bean, the latest version. And reason number two, I'd say, is because you can install any firmware that you choose. You know, the developers for Android are actually, I don't even know what it is. They're terrible at releasing new updates. You'd have to wait months upon months to get the latest version. So here's 4.2.2. Uh, not all people have this. The stock firmware on the S3 right now is 4.1.2. To get 4.2.2, I think you guys are going to have to wait several more months. But with a root, the reason number two is that you can actually update to any firmware that you choose. And reason number one being you can install custom ROMs and, you know, get all of the latest features from the newest devices. For an example, if I go into the camera application, you have the newest camera and with all the new toggles and it's just a very cool thing to do. And I'm just giving you a very vague example. It applies very deep into the firmwares. Reason number three, overclocking. Using an application like No Frills from the Play Store and of course having root access, you can overclock your device and get more performance from your Android phone. So just for an example, you can overclock it. You can actually limit the amount of power your phone gets so you can save battery that way. And it's, this is just a quick example, but it's definitely possible. And you can set the governor to performance, power save, all kinds of things. Basically overclocking and decreasing the power as well would be a very big reason for rooting your device. Reason number four is custom kernels. With a custom kernel, you can increase your performance or battery life twofold. I mean, it's just incredible the amount of kernels that are out there and you do have to do some research to make sure you're getting the right one. But if you do install the correct kernel, you can get outstanding battery life. And this wouldn't be the one for battery life, but there are very many. So definitely do your research when checking out the kernels. Reason number five is tethering. When your device is rooted, you can actually get tethering for free and avoid that $20 charge that carriers here in America love to charge us with. I know many people in other countries are doing it absolutely for free, but in the USA, we do have to pay $20. And by rooting, we can avoid that charge and get tethering absolutely free. While it's true there are applications in the Play Store that don't require root, they are a huge hassle, and most of the time they don't work and your carrier can detect them. By rooting, you can get free tethering, hassle-free that absolutely works and is undetectable. Reason number six is bloatware. I absolutely hate it. It comes preloaded on pretty much any Android device. If you go through your applications, you have so many applications that you will never use and you can't remove. They just come with your device. And the Samsung Galaxy S4, believe it or not, half of its 16 gigabyte memory is preloaded with all kinds of crap and bloatware that you will never use. And when you root your device, you can either install a custom ROM or manually delete these applications and you'll never have anything you don't need. It's just really clean. Not only do you get a cleaner interface, you get a lot less apps that you will never ever use. Say like on this S4, for example, so many applications that I don't need, but that I cannot remove. Reason number seven, a more powerful backup system and also many applications that are root only. So if you guys go into the Play Store, you may actually run into some applications that say root required and there's a very good reason for it you know because rooting is awesome uh, but really say for example titanium backup it's a more extensive backup application that not only backups your contact messages but your applications as well you can move them to your sd card you can just back up so much more extensively using this than your standard you know android backup that comes with your device not only this but there are many applications out there you just do have to do a little bit of research but you'll quickly see that rooting is very extensive and supported 
supported in the Play Store. Number eight, with a root, you can actually install applications on your SD card. So if your memory is full, say if you got the S4 and it comes with eight gigabytes of preloaded bloatware and crap, you can actually install applications on your SD card, making it a very useful feature. Reason number nine is just gonna be infinite customizability. With a root, you can pretty much customize anything, any aspect, you can change keyboards, you can change the look of your notifications menu, your camera application. You can go ahead and jump in and see anything you don't like in the Android system, Google it, and you'll be just a few clicks away from changing something amazing. And there's just so much, there's so much little reasons that you know I'd spend all day here talking about them. But basically when you root your device, you get infinite customizability and freedom for your Android device. Reason number 10, because you can. <laughs> now really number 10 for me is your device is no longer obsolete. You know, after a year, the S3 is already considered not very amazing. Even holding it in my hand, it just feels different. Not as good when it's not rooted because it's just not as good as the new S4. It's overshadowed by its success. And with rooting, you can actually bring so much features and good stuff from the S4 to your S3, like I will show you in future videos. There's no reason why you should update just to get some new software features, unless you really need that little 0.2 inches of a screen bigger, or you know those little software features that you can get through a root. Just in general, number 10 for me is your device no longer has to become obsolete. With rooting, you can make sure it has the latest features, the latest firmwares, everything that the new phones are touting saying, hey, this is the best thing, buy this phone now. Why? If you can root your device and get it, there's no reason you have to spend more money to actually buy that new phone and get those extra few little features. So no longer are your phones old and obsolete just after a little while. With rooting, you can keep them fresh looking, fresh behaving, and just in general, amazing phones. And guys, that is 10 reasons why you should root your Android phone. Of course, if you stick with this channel, I'll be showing you many more through many of my videos. I do hope you enjoyed this video. I do hope it gave you a little bit of a better idea why you should root your Android phone. And leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. You know, have a great day. Peace.